All right, Capricorns. <clears throat> Y'all gonna be the last ones for tonight. Well, depending on how I feel after this. And I got two more left after this. Pisces and Aquarius. But anyway, Capricorns. Y'all could be dealing with the Pisces or Aquarius for me to say that. I don't know. But as I hop into this reading, please keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed. I could be saying you. It could be them. I could be saying she. It could be a he. Flip-flop the roles according to your situation. You be your own leader of discernment when it comes to this reading. Capricorn. If a part of this reading does not resonate to your liking, leave it for whoever it does resonate with. Because it's a general reading. It's not a private reading. So it will not resonate with everyone the same. Again, take what fits and leave the rest. It could be your mama, your auntie, your auntie, your uncle, your grandma, your lawyer, your mechanic, your manager, whoever. Okay? Flip flop the roles according to your situation. So, background and surrounding energy. Let me just stop right here. Three of Wands. Somebody's thinking about leaving. Somebody's thinking about going elsewhere. Expanding. Expanding their right. Ex I don't be like, I don't want. Y'all. <laughs> Sometimes when I be doing readings and stuff, right? I don't be trying to say everything that I be feeling, sensing, seeing, and all that stuff. Because I'll be like, y'all gonna be like, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I just felt somebody, like, touch me like this. Like, somebody like, come on. Let's go. They want to go with you. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Somebody thinking about leaving, expanding their horizon. They could be traveling. Somebody thinking about going somewhere new, a new territory, okay? And that's the background surrounding energy. Somebody's like, I need expansion. I need new, okay? I need a new scenery, all right? I need some expansion. Clarify the three of wands for my Capricorns for May 2022. Clarify the three of wands for my Capricorns for May 2022. Three at the max. The tower was at the bottom of the deck. So there was some type of shakeup, breakup, falling out, unexpected change that caused this. Nine of swords. See, somebody is having sleepless nights. Somebody could be having bad dreams. Somebody could be in having anxiety. Two of wands, but it's about moving forward. Somebody feels stuck. They really don't know what to do, but they know they need to move forward. They know they need to move on. They knew it. They know they need to start planning, but they're stuck. They're having a mental entrapment. They're stuck in their head. They're having breakdowns and sleepless nights about it. Somebody could be dreaming about somebody a lot. Clarify this three of wands. death in reverse because somebody is resisting some type of change transformation or ending and for some of you guys this transformation or this change or this ending is not permanent it's just like whatever you whatever the situation was built upon it has to be crumbling down so that it can be a transformation in the situation it can be some type of restructure going it's like something needs to be restructured that i don't know why that's what i'm getting but something needs to be restructured then we got the six of cups and the six of pentacles so it's simply there's some the memories that somebody is holding on to is not good there was some narcissistic one-sided shit going on in the past and I don't know that somebody has changed, but all I do know is that's what somebody is stuck thinking about what happened in the past and it was not good. Okay, the past could be haunting somebody at this moment. 
show me the lovers in reverse for week one. So week one, Queen of Pentacles in, in Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is seeing in week one that this situation is done. It's expired. It's over. What once what 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 once was loving, fulfilling, nurturing, balance is now in it's now in reverse. It, it's now a toxic karmic situation, you know? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It could be somebody is only holding on to the situation for the finances, for the help. They feel like they can't do it on their own. It's like some codependencies going on. Again, somebody know that they should be moving on. They should be expanding their horizon. But they're stuck. They really don't know how to. They don't know where to begin. swords in reverse because somebody's getting caught being sneaky and deceptive clarify the lovers in reverse for week one clarify the lovers in re justice some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini it could be a libra it could be a scorpio y'all could have these signs in y'all chart but if somebody knows for a fact that karma is here to balance this situation out so if somebody was only sticking around because of the money because of the help well, you know what that means. The situ universe is about to push them about the way. You know? It could even be something in the justice system. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Clarify week two, seven of swords. Somebody's getting caught being sneaky and deceptive. Somebody is literally stalking somebody in this new beginning that they have it could be a new job some money but somebody's being watched and somebody's being stalked there's somebody planning on how to come towards somebody to keep them stuck somebody's trying to sneak away from what they're in to come towards somebody else because there's a new beginning and they're watching this person coming up with some type of plan on how they're about to get with this person because they don't want somebody does not want to let somebody be free they don't want to let somebody go. They don't want somebody to be financially independent. If somebody somebody wants to have some type of bound bind and constrictions to this person for their finances for this new beginning. Clarify seven of swords. Give me three at the max. Clarify seven of swords. Four of swords and this it's best somebody take a break and rest whoever this is that's being sneaky and deceptive they could be going to jail i'm gonna just be for it's been a lot of going to jail and a lot of these readings i mean almost every reading y'all i don't know covid is slowing down and they back and active with whatever they got but somebody needs to take a break and slow the fuck down somebody needs to chill from their negative thoughts that they got going on. It's like somebody likes to escape and run away. Okay, because somebody could be having money issues. So somebody likes to like run away from their money issues and bound and trap and, and bound themselves to other people that's doing good when they're having money issues. Okay, it's like somebody is running away and they can't handle what all they got going on. So they looking for a scapegoat or somebody else to lean on. But it could be in a negative way. Now, get what I'm trying to say. Somebody trying to rob or scam or leech on somebody. Show me week three. The tower in reverse and eight of pentacles. So, week three is best that somebody avoids this tower moment and just focus on work. Okay? Somebody could be doppelganging somebody or copying somebody or trying to put work on somebody, spell work on somebody to avoid the tower moment. To avoid something coming to light. To avoid some type of ending. There's somebody that's trying to be sneaky and deceptive and trying to do spell work to stop something from coming to light. If it's not spell work, it's manipulation. Right? Somebody's trying to manipulate somebody. Manipulate a situation. Get away with the situation. Pay the picture around the situation. Clarify the tower in reverse and eight of pentacles. 
for week three. Clarify the tower and reverse the eight of King of Swords and Knight of um, Wands in reverse. Some somebody needs to be truthful with themselves. They know they can't keep this cycle. They can't keep this cycle going. Okay, with this Knight of Wands, this is repeated action, and it has to be stopped. Somebody sees that they got to leave their player ways alone. Or somebody needs to be honest with themselves about their player ways. Regardless, somebody knows that they need to stop whatever it is that they're doing and just focus on work. Okay, focus on their finances. Because whatever sneaky player ways somebody got going on, you might get caught up in some bullshit if you keep that up. Okay. And it's dealing with the sexual ways. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Clarify tower and reverse eight of pentacles. Clarify the tower and reverse an eight of pentacles. Some of y'all, this is dealing with somebody from your past. You possibly have a child with. Y'all could be strongly missing this person. But you might, you possibly know that you keep dealing with this person the way that you're dealing with this person. Possibly sexually. It's just not going to work out. You should be expanding your horizon going after something different i feel like there's somebody better that's gonna help you with what you got going on but you may be so used to dealing with this person that you have a child with this person i know how it is but i don't clarify the tower and reverse the eight of pentacles but the way somebody's going about it it it, it it's being looked at as being sneaky and deceptive Again, some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio. We got Taurus, Libra. It don't have to be. Y'all can have them signed in y'all chart. Clarify this tower in reverse and eight of pentacles. Six of swords in reverse. So somebody feels the need. Not, somebody is getting guided not to move the common waters with this person. Yeah, they're exhausted, done, and ready to free themselves mentally. So, you know, Chariot, you guys could be dealing with a cancer. You may be trying to relocate or travel or move on. You know it's best to move on because this person, dealing with this person, you always stuck in a mental entrapment. It's like you give this person the power over you to be stuck, to feel like you don't know what to do, but you know what to do. You know what's going on. Mm. It's like, you're going to be done when you be done. You're going to be tired when you be tired. Show me. Week four. King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Week four, y'all. Again, you know it's something better waiting for you. You know it, and it is. It's something very good waiting for you. There's somebody stable, committal, waiting for you. They got their shit together, and they ready to give you this Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning. The moon in reverse. There's some secrets that's coming out about this new lover, this new beginning. There's somebody stable waiting to give you true love. Period. Point blank. This person from your past is holding you back. It could be your baby's father. Okay, are these bad memories that you hold on, that you have with this person that's just holding you back in this new relationship? You need to let that shit go because everybody's not your baby mama. Everybody ain't your baby daddy, okay? There's a new beginning that's on, this, on the line. Clarify this King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry. King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. But it's in reverse. So somebody know for a fact that in the past they was being off balance. They was being unfair. You know, they wasn't taking care of action. They wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. 
secretly. And now somebody's ready to balance the situation out because they could possibly see you are their counterpart. They're queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles in reverse. It's clear as day you got your shit together. All right? In the past, I feel like both of you guys were mirroring one another. So is this a reconciliation with the same person or what? Or is this a new person? In the past, though, y'all both could have been immature, just spending on reckless shit, dumb shit. But now somebody, I feel like through the trials and tribulations, everything is going to be all right. <laughs> What's going on? What's the outcome for my Capricorns? Yeah, y'all my last. I was going to push another reading out, but I, hell no. I can't push shit up. What's my last card? Six of Swords. Y'all are. Y'all getting guided to move back to Common Waters with this person. See, it's like somebody put up a fight in the beginning, but y'all gonna be back cool. Y'all gonna be back good. Clarify the six of swords. Nine of cups in reverse because whatever the fuck it is that you're dealing with now, you're not happy. You ain't satisfied. You're not satisfied with what you're dealing with now. Yeah, and you want this new passion to begin and you ready to invest in it. Are they ready to invest in you? Clarify Six of Swords. Excuse me. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords, please. King of Cups in reverse. See, there's somebody... Somebody is very cold hearted. Somebody. I feel like somebody left somebody to go deal with somebody that was cold hearted and emotionally manipulative. Okay. And now somebody sees that and they're getting guided to move back to this other person. Y'all, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Somebody was manipulative. It could be an, a Gemini in here. That was very manipulative. Somebody was dealing with a false, in a false contract, a false relationship. And it was very, very just bullshit, manipulative. They manipulated the whole situation. They manipulated somebody for their money. Mm. Yep. Now, what, what's going on with my Capricorns? False appearance. This person was wearing a false appearance. Possibly that you was dealing with or they was dealing with. All right? Yeah, soulmate, soul ties, bullshit. Okay, and you accepted it. I feel like for some of you guys too, you wore a false appearance acting like they was not your soulmate, knowing that they were. That's for some of y'all. What's going on? What's going on with my Capricorns? Missing you. I do care. Your close friends have a lot to do with this deception. Or their close friends. For some of y'all, you knew this third party. Or their close friends knew this third party. Yeah, it had a lot to do with the reciprocal give and take. This other person was just using this person for their money. And the gifts that they was giving this person. But I feel like even you or them, you knew by their undertone that they was full of shit. And they was just using this person. Yeah, and it was just all about the backfire. Some of y'all, y'all dealing with Aquarius or this situation is about to heal itself. It will be some type of rest rest restoration going on. Hello, because you will soon be in a relationship. You about to get some type of messages or some type of sign is about to come in towards you. You're possibly going to be forgiving this person. Go ahead and get you some rest. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. That's nasty as fuck. And it's about to set the record straight on all this shit and bring justice to a situation. Y'all could be dealing with a cancer and a Aquarius. Or y'all could have cancer and Aquarius in your chart. Or they could have cancer and Aquarius in their chart. Somebody felt like they had a lack of support though when it came to this person or this situation. I don't think nothing else want to come out. I'm going to try a little. 
Yeah, this person is juggling. But I feel like they about to make it right. Especially with that three of wands. That's three different people. Yeah. For sure. Love cycle. It was the love cycle that they tried to keep somebody in. But it ain't about to work out. Mother figure. Yeah, they wanted you to purchase. Big purchase. They want project or a new baby. Sleeping with your family, friend. Cause y'all. Transformation. What's going on? Project or a new baby. What's going on? Somebody could be getting pregnant, finding out they pregnant. False appearance. I don't know why I'm hearing somebody wants forgiveness for what they did. But I love y'all so much. Take care.